Hey guys, it's Justin from Blonde Rich Survival. In today's video, I'm going to show you my Alice pack. Show you some of the modifications I've done to it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, learn a thing or two. Maybe take some of the tips and the tricks and use them on your Alice pack if you end up getting one or you already have one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here's my Alice pack. Much like most of my camping stuff, I've had this thing part since about the mid-90s. Bought it at a uh, surplus store from Winchester, Kentucky. When I bought it, it was all original, just like it was issued to people in the Army. Here lately, though, I've done some modifications to it, and I'll show you some of these mods. Um, I hadn't carried this in a while. I've been carrying my Camp USA pack, which I really like. But after the other video the other day, I went to put it back in the closet, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I've started carrying it for a while. I'll show you some of the things I've done, some of the things I like I've done to it, okay? First thing I've done to this pack was you can look back here. These aren't standard issue Alice straps. These are uh, straps off of a newer issued Molly pack. More padding, more adjustment options. Better way you can carry load and adjust how the pack rides on you. Makes it way more comfortable. I've also put on a kidney pad from a Molly pack. Like I said, very simple modifications, but it improves the pack tremendously. Way more padding, way more options on how you can carry it. Another thing I've done to this pack here, you can see I've made a grab handle out of paracord. These packs don't come with a carry handle. You just have to grab the frame. But, like I said, it takes five minutes to make one out of paracord. Something else I've also done for this pack, and actually I've done it for all of my packs, and it's a really easy thing that helps out and makes life a lot easier, is I've made a hang rope out of paracord. It's got a carabiner on it. It just clips into the grab handle. So when you get to where you're going, you just hang your pack up to whatever height you like, and there it is. Keeps it up off the ground and helps you get into it. Something else I've done to this pack, as you can see right here, is I put these Fastex buckles on it. It comes with these uh, friction buckles, these metal ones. That's how it's come issued. Um, they hold plenty of tension. You can adjust them tight. The problem is, is they run all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. And when you go to adjust or open up your pack, you have to loosen them all the way every time. And it can be a little bit of a headache. And then you can never actually truly get them all the way open the way they're designed. So I took a idea off the newer Molly packs and put these fast tech buckles on there. It just clips. And it comes loose. Then I can get in there way easier. The way I done my mod on these Fastex buckles, which a lot of people have done them. But I done it and I kept the original hardware. That way if I do get out and something happens this plastic, because it is plastic. These are high grade buckles, but it's still plastic. But if I get out and one of the buckles fail, I still have this metal buckle that I can still use. <clears throat> but as far as actual modifications of the pack, that's all I've done to it right now. But I can show you a couple of things I like about this pack while I'm doing this. All right, guys, so one of the biggest things I like about the Alice Pack is its size. The thing's a beast. Um, you can put anything you want to in this thing and then some. Um, like I said, that can be a bad thing in some people's eyes because they think if they have an empty pack, they need to fill it plumb to the top. As long as you have your mindset of I'm only going to take what I need, then you won't have that problem. Um, I like it because oftentimes we go hiking with all six of us. If my kids find a rock or a stick or you know how kids are, they find something they just cannot leave on the trail, then you can throw it in this pack and have plenty of room. Or if the baby gets tired of carrying his backpack, I can throw it inside with a smaller pack. You usually got to strap them to the outside and then you got everything bouncing all over your back and everything. But with this pack, you don't have that problem. Another thing I like about it is just its packability, how you can organize it. It's got these pockets. This one here, it's got my rain gear in it. On the outside, I can get to it if I need to pretty quickly. This pocket right here, I've got my cook set, my stove, and my fuel. I've got that pretty quick here. I've got my stuff to make a shelter with. It's pretty easy to pack and get everything laid out and not have to worry about hunting for stuff. If you know, just not a big empty pocket. Um, hydration bladder, they're not really hydration compatible. 
I bought this. It's an aftermarket hydration carrier. It's for an owl's pack. As you can see, it's got the straps that line up with the back side of the pack here. It's from Blackhawk. I'm not even sure if they still make them or not. But if you don't have that inside, it's got this radio pocket that was originally designed to carry a radio. But a lot of people, you can put your hydration bladder down in there and be just fine. Another cool feature of this pack is these, the two outside pockets are passed through. If you look right here on this side, there's a space all the way in between these pockets in the pack. So like over here, I carry my hatchet, just standard issue hatchet cover. Clips on there and the handle actually goes down in behind this pocket so I have no worries about it. Then you can always, like I said, put your canteen on the side. Got your canteen cup in there for cooking options or boiling water. I just have an ammo pouch here. I usually put trail snacks in this. That way they're easy to get to and I don't have to dig through everything to get them. They're just right here. Um, but like I said, that's some of the features I like about the Alice Pack. Um, I was issued one of these in Fort Knox and basic training had to carry it around. It had the standard issue Alice Pack and kidney pads on it and or Alice pads, Stroder pads excuse me, on it, and it wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world, but I survived, and it wasn't awful, but putting these new pads and new shoulder straps on this pack, I would almost compare it to a modern-day commercialized pack, um, especially with the different adjustment points. You can adjust how you carry the load or how the load sits on your shoulders and stuff, so hopefully y'all learned something from my rambling or at least enjoyed it and if you got any questions on anything, how I done it or how I put stuff on here or anything, just leave a comment. And if you don't care, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for watching!